Welcome to Transfer Tuesday. I'm JPR Instagram Manager, Myra Bravo, and today I'm here with transfer student and PR major, Kobe Takeda. Kobe, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. Firstly, can you tell us a bit about your transfer experience? Where did you transfer from and what led you to choosing Cal State Long Beach? Yeah, so um, initially right out of high school, I went to Fullerton College and I was actually, I transferred as a theater major there, like from high school. Um, I graduated high school in 2020 and then I kind of like started freaking out about like taking acting classes and stuff online. Um, that was really intimidating. So before, right before school started, I actually like called my counselor and then I trans I switched my major to film like immediately before I even started. Um, so that was kind of the journey my first semester. And then second semester, I actually transferred from Fullerton College to Golden West and I finished my AA at Golden West. And at Golden West, I was still kind of freaking out about what I was going to major in. And um, I ended up taking like art classes because my best friend is an interior designer. And I was like, I was just kind of like throwing everything on the wall and see what stuck, you know. Um, eventually, I took a bunch of communication classes and that kind of like, um, it kind of stuck a little bit. I realized that like, uh, that's just kind of how my brain works a little bit more. But I was really scared about it, like being a little bit too broad. So when it came to transfer to a four year, I was like uh, on the phone with my counselor and like we were just kind of talking about like different fields and communications that are maybe a little bit more specific and a little less broad and scary. Um, and then I saw that at Cal State Fullerton that there was a communications major with like a entertainment like emphasis and then that there was a PR major at Cal State Long Beach. Um, and I think what I kind of made a pros and cons list a little bit of the two programs and stuff. I was like really looking everything at online. But um, a big deciding factor, though, was that Cal State Long Beach was a lot closer to like my house. And um, I have a bunch of like friends and family who went to Cal State Long Beach. So I knew that it was a lot more comfortable space for me to be in because I was just going to be here for two years. So that's kind of was the driving force behind that. Thank you for that. And yeah. so prior to transferring, did you have any initial expectations about Cal State Long Beach? And how would you say that those expectations have compared to your actual experiences here? Um, I was pretty nervous because um, like, I feel like a lot of like community college professors, like it's kind of their side gig, like they're, they're teaching at other schools. And then they also just like pick up a few classes here and there by like, the community college by their house or something so I was like kind of stressed that I was like doing really well in community college because like your professors aren't prioritizing you as much so they're like yeah go go pass but um but like I don't I feel like my my relationship with every single professor I've had has been like really really good so far um and at Cal State Long Beach like like they really truly really do care about like the JPR students because it's like it's a little bit more of a smaller program and like there's so many opportunities in the JPR program and everybody just wants everybody to be involved which is like really really cool so that kind of that blew my mind a little bit. I totally agree with you on that our professors are just so amazing and involved and understanding it made a total difference for me they um, totally understand about like extracurriculars and everything yeah it's just really cool speaking on extracurricular activities have you been involved in activities or clubs on campus and how would you say that has impacted your college experience yeah, so earlier this month, I actually just got hired at Dig Magazine. Um, if you guys want to follow Dig Mag LB on Instagram and other social media, that would be really cool. Um, I started as a social media editor, um, and I've already made a video on their Instagram, which is pretty cool. But um, I just really liked uh, like the collaboration. Like I got hired with another person. Her name is Phoebe, and we made that video together. And it was just like a really good experience. Um, one of my best friends that I met from Long Beach, Alyssa, she was already on the social media team at Dig and she was holding my hand through it. So I just feel a little bit more connected and I really do like being involved. And it it took a while, but I'm I'm really glad that I ended up doing it. 
I love that. And we have already seen your videos and I was so excited to see. I was like, <laughs> I know him. <laughs> Rockstar. All right. So can you share any exciting plans or goals that you have for your future after graduation? I know that you still have a semester ahead, but what are your aspirations thus far? Yeah. I mean, going into second semester, I'm my my eyes are just on that finish line. I just want to graduate so bad. Um, I'm really, really excited about that. Um, when it comes to like after graduation, I'm like really excited to see if like the tools that I've learned from like Cal State Long Beach and like all of my professors and stuff like are applicable to like the real world. Um, I really hope that I can like find some sort of field in entertainment PR that I could go into, um, especially after Steve Roar's class, you know, like that really hooked me. That was such a fun class. Um, other than that, I'm pretty open to like, experiences after college but I think that's a big one is just seeing if like I can actually use the skills that I've learned put them to the test <laughs> I love that okay and lastly what tips or insights that you would you like to share with any students considering transferring to Cal State Long Beach what do you wish that you knew prior to coming over oh that is such a great question um, I think that the biggest tip I have for transfer students is like actually starts at community college and it's find a really good counselor at your community college because I went through like maybe I met with like five different people both at Fullerton and Golden West and so randomly like I just like I randomly called one day and I was like who has an appointment and this counselor was available and she was actually in charge of the nursing students um, and I think she ended up like remembering me a lot because like, I think I was her only communications kid, which was like, it was like a fun relationship, but like, um, she really helped me throughout the journey. And like, we would like, uh, we would like on that phone call where we were deciding like Cal State Long Beach or Fullerton and like what major I would do and everything. Like she was just like super, super helpful. So that's like one big tip that I have. And then the second big tip I have is like, don't be afraid to, get involved immediately um because that was one thing that I was like kind of nervous about because like um you know you start as a junior you know you're already an upperclassman but you're also like the fresh meat on campus so don't be afraid to just jump right in I wish I had gotten involved sooner than later um and yeah just like enjoy your whole time here because it's quite short I totally agree it flies by Kobe, thank you so, so much for taking the time to talk to us about your experience and best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Of course, thank you so much for thinking of me, Myra.